What's up, my fat little toads? It's your boy, Iceman. So, in this video, I'm going to showcase the skeletal mages with my necromancer and how their damage compares with and without infinity on the mercenary. I'm quite sure it's going to be fucking garbage either way, but we's about to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take infinity off my mercenary first. And I'm going to go up into this bitch. This is a great place to summon skeletons, even revives or mages. I'm going to get a bunch of skellies. Only mages. Okay. And now I'll go somewhere in Act 1. Let's try out Act 1. Unfortunately, I can't teleport. I don't have Enigma. But I'll go to the Cold Plains. Because their damage is pretty shitty. So let's see how it is without Infinity. Now, of course, I, I just don't want to kill my Iron Golem. Okay. Hmm. Pretty shitty. Without infinity. This is what you get. Okay. Pretty shitty. Here's a unique. Oh, it's magic resistant. Ugh. Maybe this is a bad place to be. Let's go to the River of Flame real quick. Yeah, it's unfortunate how in D2 Classic, or D2R rather, mages kind of suck ass. I had one point into them, and they seem to suck just as much as they did with 14 points in them. Hard points. Alright, let's go down here, take a little look-see. See how fast that morphine dies? Not very fast. See how fast this one dies? Not very fast. See how fast this motherfucker dies? Not very fast. Not very fast, Ice Boy. So, don't want my mercenary to get murdered. Of course, the mercenary is going to do a lot more damage now with Infinity on him. So this is kind of hard to uh, make like an accurate comparison. Uh, I'll try it anyway. All right, so now he has Infinity on him. Oh, fuck, different monster types. Wow, still very shitty damage. Unbelievable. Holy shit! See, Infinity, it just. I don't think that shit's worth it when it comes to your mages, alright? However, it probably still is, in general, more viable than Prime. I say this without testing it, but... Just from the research that Ice Boy has done, alright? The, the research on the interwebs and shit. I mean, look at this. This is bullshit. You see how slow they're killing them? It seems to have barely changed a damn thing. Of course, once my Merc gets in there and starts stabbing the shit out of them, they die. But damn! Are you kidding me? Holy shit! This is bullshit! Yeah, mages suck! You know, this is uh, part of why... Man, I'm gonna be playing some PD2 Season 4. Coming out, I think, at the end of November. Beginning of December, somewhere in that range. Look at this, they suck ass! All right, that one's dying a little faster. Yeah, they're dying a little faster. You, know, you gotta give credit where credit's due, I told. But not fast enough. You know, this is slow as fuck. Now, here's the thing. Infinity, however, is probably still, like, the best option for your Necromancer Mercenary. It's a Summoner Necro slash Corpse Explosion Necro. For two reasons. Primarily, all right. As you can see, mages maybe being a third reason, but it it barely does shit for your mages. So I think you're talking out of your ass if you think that's the case. That it's like a great improvement or something for your mages. But here are the two reasons you want infinity on your mercenary. Now maybe my words got a little mixed up in my last video. All right, I don't give a fuck. 
but you dogs know where I was coming from. I know Infinity doesn't pierce their physical resistance, all right? That be overpowered as a toad, coupled with Decrepify, coupled with Am Damage. It doesn't do that. Here's what it does. All right? Ice Toad knew this. Maybe I got my words mixed here, there a little bit. I don't know. Or maybe I didn't. I don't really know how it went, but... Check this out. What it does is it, uh, it, it pierces their defense, all right? So you have a greater chance of hitting them, basically, on all your minions if they have conviction applied to them. Your minions have a greater chance of hitting them in chip, uh, like your melee attacks or and so forth. Of course, spells always hit. So your skeletal mages, your merc, whatever else, you know, that's physical. Uh, the bosons in your party, if they're shooting arrows at them and shit, they'll have a better chance of hitting them if conviction is applied to them. Because it has a certain percentage point that it pierces their defense. I think it's like 25 to 33%. Shit, maybe it's 50%, somewhere in that range. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. So, quite beneficial. It works kind of like when you have a weapon that says pierces enemy defense by 25% or something. It's kind of like that. All right, pierces their defense, breaks down their defense. All right. Fuck, I don't know the best way to word it, but that's what it does. Including, obviously, piercing their cold fire and uh, lightning res. But here's another big benefit of Infinity that might be underlooked for having an Corpse Explosion Necromancer is that half of your Corpse Explosion damage, it's a hidden value, it doesn't say this shit anywhere, but it's fire. All right, if you put on Mage Fist, you can test it out even, you'll see that yeah, it actually raises uh, its level by a point. Even though it's not really called a, a fire skill, is it? Corpse Explosion. No, it doesn't say anything to do with fire. Explodes, damaging nearby enemies, maximum level reach. Oh, it says up the maximum level reach. That's kind of nice. See, it doesn't say anything about fire here, but it is a fire spell. So here's the benefit. Uh, in some cases, Infinity actually breaks fire immune. So then you basically gain an additional 50%. Well, not quite, because they still have a, uh, a fire resistance, the enemies. But nonetheless, the fire aspect of your corpse explosion is going to count then, if you can break a fire immunity. Another thing is, for those who aren't fire immune, probably more importantly, uh, it pierces the fire resistance. So they resist the fire part of your corpse explosion even less. All right, meaning they take more damage from it than they would otherwise. So it's godly as fuck for these reasons. And really, fuck your summons. You know, I, I, I don't mean to be crude about it, but fuck your summons, most of your damage is from Corp Explosion, right? If you're like an optimal Necro, probably like 90% of your damage is from your Corp Explosion. Just to be DPS all around. You really just need one kill and then you pop the shit out of everything else. So really, the more damage to your Corp Explosion, the merrier. So you don't really need pride on your Mercenary, because you're just trying to get one fucking kill. Uh, in most cases, your Mercenary probably gets the kill anyway. So, how do you enhance this corpse explosion damage from your mercenary? Well, I guess having infinity on him to where it has the conviction aura. Hell yeah, dog. So, if you guys will hit the thumbs up button, like the fucking video, become a patron if you want, buy Ice Toad of Coffee, links in the description below. Appreciate you dogs, support me as you have. More videos to come on Diablo 2 Resurrected and on Project Diablo 2. Very much so looking forward to Season 4. As mentioned in my previous videos, they will have scalable archers that you can summon as a necromancer. So that'll be nice. And your mages in PD2 are actually worth a damn. So there's another thing to get excited over. I normally don't summon them at all in D2R. I'm just doing it for experimental purposes in this video. Really, the motherfuckers just get in the way. You want your you want your home brains, your homies. 
Little warrior motherfuckers. Little warrior thugs. Hell, see, that's what you want. So you don't want those mages getting in the way. All right. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you dogs soon. Uh, become a patron if you want. Links in the description below. And to my patrons and my future patrons. May your finances be blessed. And may you have many wives. Peace be with you.